dear students in pre lecture you will know about heat and the earth atmosphere what the e or just are the energy heat energy that's in um, or the earth surface are in earth atmosphere coming from the sun what's the major properties in sure uh, we are going to discuss about the heat on the earth surface uh, the background or properties and uh, the major uh, uh, background of uh, heat uh, or the heat energy or heat budgets we often know about the heat budget on that uh, hot surface or the hot surface and coming to the earth in that stratospheric or uh, stratospheric level and that earth atmospheric level and up uh, next we will uh, know about and discuss about the green uh, aspect that's very important uh, aspect and uh, topic of that uh, thermology environment aspect you may know about the green house effect you may have uh, heard about and you know or studied about but we'll know about the green house effect uh, on the basis of its processing and property uh, properties or its role of uh, greenhouse gases and greenhouse effects Uh, on the edge of uh, the earth or the budget balancing or regulating the hard surface heat so let's start from the beginning about the heat on the earth surface go to the heat on the hard surface so how the each or the heat budget on our surface uh, been integrated has been um, in that dynamics what are the dynamics what are the phenomena behind this heat that's on our surface or uh, at the flat back so uh, firstly uh, i can state here that it moves in the atmosphere the same way uh, it moves through the solid earth uh, or another media so on that earth surface it moves in the atmosphere uh, the same way on the earth surface to uh, through the atmosphere as it moves to uh, through the solid earth or another medium uh, like about half of the solid radiation that strikes the top of the atmosphere uh, above the earth surface And that is filtered back or that is reflected uh, as we know there is also only is there the blanket of gases uh, before it reaches the ground that is the troposphere upper level uh, this energy can be absorbed by as i have mentioned very gases are there that's also coming up next in the greenhouse gases reflected by either the clouds uh, or scattered aerosol uh, aerosols are there and clouds are there so they can be scattered or are reflected back uh, by that uh, level of atmosphere um, scattering uh, how the scattering of these uh, energy or the heat coming towards the uh, heart uh, occurs in that atmospheric level of the earth atmosphere scattering occurs when a light wave strikes a particle and be bounce hard uh, in some other direction that's uh, cause stri striking back or reflection that's scattering so uh, literally about or approximately there is mentioned many uh, which is about that but about uh, literally i can mention the about 3% of the energy that strikes uh, the ground Uh, come towards the ground of surface is reflected back into the atmosphere that's in the form of the long wave i will state also in the another section uh, section of the uh greenhouse gas and that atmosphere uh, interaction so in that part uh, if the energy goes back that's in the long wave or for it form the rest is absorbed by rocks so uh, soil and water and like the every uh, material every uh, kind of uh, things here in a uh, geosphere in biosphere that is absorbed by these water or other kind of uh, things here on the geosphere surface and then uh, this uh, rest um, of the uh, energy is radiated back into air as heat that's in form of the long wave that's coming first in the short but the again it's coming uh, uh, reflect back in the long wave is a heat or heat budget of the earth surface However, these uh, each are in red wavelength. Uh, why we can't see it? This uh, can't be seen uh, like these infrared wavelengths that coming out it are uh, reflect back uh, in some uh, little chunk. That can't be seen. That can be seen uh, with the help of uh, infrared sensors. If you want to see them, you will use infrared sensor uh, to go or to uh, note or to observe the uh, striking back energy or. heat radiations so let uh, we uh, can know that how this uh, solar energy 
uh, continually is coming toward the earth, atmosphere and ground surface. So then the plant will get hotter. How much hotter? You will literally uh, say that it will become boil. Why it's getting hotter and hotter? Then uh, obviously the question arises. The answer is no. Why? Because uh, the energy from the earth escapes into space through the top of the tube. So for as I have mentioned, I will. Uh, upcoming and uh, the upcoming slide, I will even show that how the atmospheric level blanket level are, are these uh, layers uh, reflect back the uh, energy or that it uh, major chunk of the uh, heat energy that is coming towards the uh, hard surface. Then the uh, that to regret each other. Why? If the amount that exists uh, is equal to the amount uh, that comes uh, in. Then average global temperature stay at the same. Then that can be the answer. Like if the amount that exists is uh, equal to the amount that comes in, then average global temperature stays the same. This means that the plant's heat budget is in balance. However, it's not like the case because the heat uh, we know can't be the same all over in the globe level because here I will mention and I will state here. What happens then if more energy comes in or then goes out? If more energy goes out or then comes in, like in that state, that can be the regulation phase or that can be the uh, uh, heat energy perfect budget. How to say that the heat uh, earth or heat budget is balanced ignores an important point that is the regulation of or dynamics of the heat variations or the globe. Because from that many processes can occur because of the heat and pressure uh, gradient. The amount of incoming solar energy is different at different latitudes here I will uh, state now. The different in solar energy are received at different latitudes drives atmospheric circulation. That's why that is the point that the heart heat budget is balanced ignores any problem but that can't be balanced like if more uh, same energy come and same energy goes out all the, and if more energy comes in then you go because that uh, imbalance is also not in that um, state to regulate the dynamics of the processes atmospheric circulation and also to cause many processor phenomena over the earth's surface so for that purpose if we see here the imbalance are the variations in that heat gradient so in equatorial region if we take the drain land it may remain nearly same all the year if we take the average like for say 14 or 15 hours and sun angle will be high because in latitudinal areas are sorry equatorial areas the sun will fall like this so sun angle will be high like this in the glide plane in but in solar addition obviously will be high albedo what's the nature albedo that's the scattering property of the light if the light scatter from scatter back or reflect back from the surface that's the albedo so albedo will be low why the albedo will be low as i have mentioned before that the heat energy that escapes from that surface uh, of the uh, atmospheric leaf that comes toward the heat earth surface that some is um, absorbed and some um, is absorbed by the other but mostly uh, can be reflected back that the albedo is low and mostly are absorbed because the hard surface is the properties to absorb that heat in the form of the, that geo hydrosphere, geosphere and many other sphere that absorb the uh, energy even for the plants can absorb energy for their sensing other purposes. So the albedo will be low on that uh, equatorial areas. But in polar areas where the day length is also not that much uh, false, not that much uh, even if we have noticed that in some area it will be for the six months night like in Norway other areas of the uh, toward the polar areas of polar areas and the sun angle will also be low so that making causing the solar radiation as much low as compared to the equatorial regions or sub tropical tropical area but uh, the albedo will be high why because these area are polar areas like arctic and target areas so in these areas the flexion of the light or the solar coming upcoming radiation of the solar radiation energy will reflect uh, most or uh, more more as compared to that equatorial region so the uh, albedo will be high and, and for that reason the solar radiation will learn obviously sun angles also so making a little heat budget at that end though then uh, the uh, the uh, it makes that uh, areas uh, frozen most of the uh, all year round as well so what greenhouse effect here if we so you have same of the greenhouse gases are there 
uh, the exception to earth's temperature being in balance like we say that earth's uh, temperature can't be in balance it can be in a dynamic state that's because of the greenhouse effect what's actually the greenhouse effect and what's actually its causes uh, the greenhouse gases are there that is the co2 the major greenhouse gases here are mentioned like this carbon dioxide water levels in the vapor form methane that's ch4 ozone that's in the o3 natural oxide nice oxide in the oxide form nor no2 and chlorofluorocarbons so cfc's what about that cfc's these all are normal part of the atmosphere these gases are all part of the atmosphere atmosphere and then these gases at uh, their composition but these chlorofluorocarbons these are recently introduced right to, in the recent decades two or three decades in the, especially in the three to four decades when the, these are used in refrigerators that's it the chlorofluorocarbons the how many forms so chlor for 1 to 12 or 6 to 12 so these chlorofluorocarbons so these are not a normal part of the these are anthropogenic mostly and these are very depleting the atmosphere uh, upper troposphere equal level of the ozone level and especially the ozone upper level in the stratosphere and that's the damaging to the greenhouse effect however the warming of the atmosphere because of the insulation by these greenhouse gases this is called the greenhouse effect the warming of the hot surface or the hot temperature because of these gases can be called as a greenhouse effect that's very simple and literal uh, introduction of uh, our uh, brief uh, definition of the greenhouse effect how uh, you can literally uh, understand it the greenhouse gases uh, want to serve by trapping heat how like these cases are in the form of the composition of gases and like making blanket or the hot surface uh, and towards the troposphere upper level and troposphere lower level so that's trapping the heat um, to go out from that uh, hot surface some of the heat radiation um, out from the ground is trapped by greenhouse gases in the troposphere that I have mentioned in the upper and lower troposphere like a blanket or greenhouse gases um, these gases like act as a insulation for the planet because of our surface um, uh, energy or heat budget can be trapped then it is uh, essential for dynamics of many uh, uh, how, uh, sort of geosurface properties are many kind of um, climatic or uh, uh, phenomena there, process there like uh, wind etc and temperature and precipitation etc because that can be then make insulate the uh, planet hard and also the other properties can however the hard surface will be then very very much lower in temperature because if the heat goes out as like such and then though it will be a sorrier air surface there will be no such process these uh, are the component of the atmosphere that moderate earth's temperature because on that basis the hot temperature remain uh, in light um, uh, moderate form or in dynamic form as well so here i will discuss uh, how it occur in that graphics the all our greenhouse effect are the trapping of that heat and the uh, heat energy or heat budget firstly here the major um, energy source that is the sun if the sun rays come in the short rays form a very uh, heated form that you can see in that blanket form or in that white uh, layer that's the atmosphere and you can see the troposphere upper level and that's the geosphere biosphere etc in that level if the some uh, essential part of the uh, rays that uh, come towards that uh, that uh, that comes toward that atmosphere that radiates through the atmosphere and that is the ultraviolet but these are long and that is not that much uh, uh, that these are like you can see uh, not um, uh, negative so basically they are not uh, harmful so they, they come to the hard surface and these are absorbed by and some are scattered back these uh, you will see some are scattered back how these are scattered back like infrared radiation is emitted by the hot surface as well because the geosphere and from the upper crust from that main part is also the e that is going towards the earth surface and these are regulated you can see here uh, recycled again to the earth because of that atmosphere that is the property as i mentioned earlier and also the heat is coming toward the atmosphere from here and the long wave form in the night time some radiation is reflected by the earth and the atmosphere is i've seen here in the troposphere level in the ozone it is the properties in also the gaseous greenhouse gases these scattered back um, some is scattered back and the other is 
air regulated and insulated and then also mix up with that heat of the heart surface some of the infrared radiation however pass through the atmosphere uh, some is blurred and re-emitted as i have mentioned in our direction by the green, uh, gigs like you know gas molecules uh, hard effect of this is to warm the surface uh, and lower the atmosphere white lower the atmospheric level um, temperature to raise so much or even to become low so much that's the very basic property of that uh, very um, ozone layer or that uh, greenhouse gases to regulate that heat temperature but not uh, the, but making dynamics to also giving the many uh, properties of many kind of uh, happening or uh, many kind of uh, uh, phenomena here at occur at the earth surface or the earth at the geosphere as well uh, how the infrared radiation that are long way form that goes back it also insulate here the earth surface but the sun uh, even goes back in that very uh, atmospheric upper level so that was the, about the greenhouse effect uh, what's actually the critical aspect of the greenhouse effect and what are uh, the role how much uh, the heat can be trapped how much the heat molecules are trapped uh, which molecules are trapped which uh, heat molecules so how the heat uh, comes to the atmosphere and what are the sources behind that heat or the heat budget so here the uh, major uh, greenhouse gases i mentioned uh, co2 or uh, seed for methane nitrous oxide as well as N2O, NO2 or n the ozone that is O3 and CFC. So from the uh, CO2 perspective, these four gases uh, are, are the major gases of that uh, uh, greenhouse gases that as I have mentioned, these are the naturally causing gases, but these CFCs are for, for farmers that are the anthropogenic gases that it is produced for the cooling purpose in the refrigerations and other, other uh, sources but uh, the co2 is here i have mentioned where it comes from or what are the sources uh, behind this in mainly uh, occurring from the natural uh, process natural uh, phenomena natural uh, occurring like respiration it comes from as the animals respire like they, they exhale co2 volcanic eruptions also release much co2 as well as the composition of plant material but the genetic cause can be the burning of fossil fuels if you are doing it in the anthropogenic way that's the biggest source of uh, carbon dioxide release so up next is the uh, methane that's also the very important case but it's uh, the major source comes from the decomposition of plant material and under the same condition biochemical reactions are also in the but the major chunk comes from that decomposition of dead material than plant material the up next is the nitrous oxide and that's mostly produced by bacteria like protein fixation and also in the deposition of uh, the uh, root uh, base uh, in the soil and then goes to the inside the farm to the upper atmosphere in the ambient atmosphere uh, the ozone that's the very important uh, uh, that's the important greenhouse gas that is in the upper troposphere and so in the uh, lower uh, stratosphere level be in between the troposphere and stratosphere that is above 17 km of that from the earth's surface and up to the 50 km in that stratosphere but in that case the ozone that is uh, recycling and is releasing again uh, it is degrading also in the O2 uh, then plus O oxygen it is from the atmosphere process that's why it is the earlier mentioned as the atmosphere process because it's in the troposphere upper level and the uh, stratosphere lower level it's uh, uh, releasing producing and again then uh, uh, goes into the high enough oxygen and uh, oxygen uh, I don't, and thus causing uh, again to, to form the ozone that's in the process of the cycle but if uh, its natural process is degraded or uh, being disturbed by some anthropogenic causes like extra um, burning of the cfc's etc that you are mentioned then ozone can be depleted and if it is depleted obviously the uh, very dense of our trace will come to the earth surface and will uh, cause uh, the much heat to, uh, to come to the earth surface cfc's that is very important in thermogenic that's not natural thing because it's made by humans it is made by humans uh, in the refrigerators for the refrigerator purposes also for the coolant purpose so that's uh, important even it's uh, not uh, been used in the, the very uh, beginning stages, are it is not that much in, in the producing uh, in producing the decent decades, 
but in that case it's also uh, depleting or degrading the ozone layer if it's going to the upper atmosphere then lower to, from the lower atmosphere uh, uh, upper atmosphere and causing the ozone to bleed so that's not actually occurring however these uh, all four um, major gases of the um, greenhouse gases that are naturally occurring but if the natural uh, process can also be even uh, expedite or again can be a uh, speed up if uh, here we go for the noxious nitrogen oxides and other uh, uh, sources of CO2 like the burn of phosphorus it can be even uh, more in number by that uh, kind of uh, processes if uh, its natural process is caused or degraded then the human phenomena to drink is one of the drink source can uh, make it a major chunk and thus can cause the not uh, degrade the natural low process of that to methane gases release since it will be uh, not uh, going that far process of the uh, e budget I, either it will uh, be not, not uh, naturally it will uh, degrade the natural cycle of that heat process What can be their uh, abilities to trap the heat as uh, their major abilities to trap the heat and uh, radiations uh, either back or to insulate the earth surface? Oh, here is mentioned uh, one methane molecule even can trap 30, uh, 23 times as much heat as one CO2 molecule. That is the very powerful. However, if we go for the one CFC that I have mentioned that it is not um, natural, it is so much power that a um, type of CFC uh, that is CFC 12 that can even traps 10,000 up to 600 times 10,600 as much heat as CO2 molecule just one CO2 molecule that is so much stronger however still CO2 is very important greenhouse case because it is much uh, more abundant in the atmosphere as compared to the other cases but human activities are very significantly um, make uh, the effect to raise the level of many greenhouse gases in the atmosphere that is the CFCs and other carbogenic property that is the burning of fuels and um, other such anthropogenic like uh, industrial development etc etc uh, so methane level are about two and a half times higher as a result of human activities as well because I think I mentioned carbon dioxide share uh, is that is only the uh, approximate figure that can be even more than 34 percent that is increased how the cfc's that is very very dangerous as compared to the other kind of these uh, other types of these uh, jgs that is all released in exist but it is being used in diet refrigerations and even it has been now not uh, actually used or not been entertained in many that kind of industries refrigerations or uh, home appliances so it has been um, used to, to not to be uh, used like ideally and also to be uh, gone gone in use and also be uh, not to, to, to be used as a uh, many other cases like uh, you can sell the coolers are has been uh, replacing that cfc's as well so about today's lecture uh, hopefully you just uh, know about the heat energy budget and the heat comes toward the hard surface in that form and also the role of greenhouse gases and greenhouse uh, effect